Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be discussing what does the color maroon or wine mean in a dream. So when you look at the color maroon or wine, it's actually a combination of blue and red. So depending on if it's a brighter maroon or if it's a deeper or richer maroon, uh, will will be telling. So if it's brighter, it's going to have more red in it. If it's darker, it's going to have more blue. And when you separate those colors individually, red is a representation of wisdom, anointing power on the positive and on the negative. It can represent war, can represent anger. Um, and then blue on positive is going to be communion and revelation. And then on, neg on the negative, it could be sorrow or depression or even anxiety. So it just depends if it's a uh, negative or positive dream. But even if it's a positive dream, it can still be really, really dark. The color can be really, really saturated and rich. So just depending on the uh, tint of the color as well will give you implications. But overall, maroon and wine, without the separation of the colors, the color itself is going to be a representation of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It is going to be a representation of redemption uh, the blood of Jesus and um, what all redemption entails. So redemption includes salvation, deliverance, healing. So depending on other elements in the dream, it could be a representation of that. And it also can be a play on words because even though it's maroon or wine, it could be like the color wine or the actual drink of the, the wine drink. So just depends so just look at that as well. You want to take that into consideration. And then on the negative side, it can mean drunkenness or love of the world, um, being drunk off of the pleasures of the world's carnality. You think about the woman in the book of Revelations on the, on the beast, and she was drunk off the blood of the saints. So hopefully you're not dreaming of drinking blood. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that's on the negative side. Um, but yeah, typically that's what it's going to represent. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment box below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if there's other colors that are ne not necessary, not necessarily the primary colors or the typical colors you see, go ahead and leave those in the comments as well, or message me and I can do a video on those if I get a lot of it a lot of the same colors and people are inquiring about the same one. I'll go ahead and do a video for you guys. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if this video has blessed you, please share it with someone who is interested in learning more about God's nighttime parables. It would really help and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, until next time, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.